Pro YouTube. Uh, today I'm working on, let's see, a Sigma UC zoom lens, 70 to 210 millimeters. I've already got it partially apart. Um, well, the, the story is, I got given a whole tote full of free electronic stuff. Came with uh, some small speakers, uh, DVD. Uh, player some other stuff and this camera that appeared to be a mint condition uh, Canon with this Sigma UC zoom lens on it And the only thing that seemed to not work was was the zoom the auto zoom the auto focus So I, did, I figured it must be one of the servo motors um, I took it apart and that's the slideshow you see previous to this. So I'm going to give you a look at what the inside of one looks like. Long story short, I got to a certain point where I realized that uh, the reason that this this focusing drum here wouldn't move was because, if you can tell, this whole barrel portion here is crooked which tells me that the lens the camera must have been dropped and it hit the ground or whatever this way and jammed this threaded barrel cockeyed in the threads so the remainder of this this uh, slideshow video will be me again trying to uh, disassemble this thing now my goal is to try and get this barrel out of here uh, because that's the part that isn't working. The servo appears to be functional. It's trying to, to move the, uh, the focusing lens, uh, but it can't because this thing is just jammed in there, cockeyed. So that's the update at uh, what is probably the midpoint of this process. So what I'm gonna do now is I've taken out uh, not that part uh, oh, I've taken out the front lens that allowed me to take out three screws that holds this to an inner plate so now I'm going to reach in here and take out three other screws that are way down inside you can't see them uh, I don't think there's anything I can do to make you see them there's a, there's a uh, one of the images in the slideshow shows me reaching down in there with a screwdriver. I don't think I can show you, but I'm going to take those out and see if I can get this whole front section to come out. Okay. I've gotten that apart. I've gotten this out and this out and this. If you want to get this out, uh, like I was saying before, you have to take out the three screws that are deep down inside here. And this kind of wiggles out. They don't, you can't separate this from the guts without disassembling even more, but you can wiggle it loose so that this will come out because this holds the toothed gear on the inside, which is, uh, let's see which corresponds with this shaft going down which has the drive gear on it and you'll see that you can't see the gear because it's hidden behind that metal metal span right there and you have to wiggle this onto the uh, onto and behind the, the metal spans to get the the gear and, or the rack and the pinion I guess the rack and the pinion to, to go together and then you can reassemble it. Right now, I'm focused on this. And now, uh, I don't know if you can or not, but it's much more evident that this has been jammed cross thread. So that's my next step. Okay, so now I'm ready to reassemble this. <clears throat> I jammed, basically, I took. I put 
this threaded thingamajig on the edge of something else, on the edge of a, another plastic piece I had, and jammed it uh, from, uh, I wanted to push it out this way, because I have no idea if this is in focus or not, but I got it so it'll move. So I unjammed it by placing it on the edge, like this, and the side that was squashed up is what I pushed out. Uh, I laid this edge on the edge of a piece of plastic and I used another piece of uh, plastic to give it a tap with a hammer and it, and it fell right into place. So I'm going to go with that. And then I have marks on here to tell me where these two things went together. And it's a magic marker mark so you probably can't see it. Those slide back together. I've taken the screws out of this again. Uh, I'm going to verify that everything is where it needs to be. In fact, I'll mark this. So that needs to be there. That's just a matter of just. I make it sound simple. It's not. Uh, it's a matter of getting the ring gear back onto the drive gear. And I'll do that this way. I'll get that up and out of there as far as I can. Uh, I need to keep my marks together because I know that the last right here where the W is uh, it was 1.5 meters was showing so I'm going to go with that is long and ponderous but I wanted to show you how I actually did it. I need there's a lip there. Now let's check. 1.5 meters is not showing where it needs to be so I gotta lift it up again. Move it over. going to go with that because this just moved on me. Which is telling me that it's, it's it'll move again. Mumble, mumble, mumble. I'm getting over a cold. So, you know, everything is what it is. I hope you're, I hope this is helpful. Okay, so I've gotten this barrel back inside the larger barrel. I've got it uh, synced with the servo. Everything moves apparently as it should. Um, I'm screwing now back the inner inner ring here. Now I have no idea if uh, this thing is in focus or not, and I don't know how to fix it if it's not. Um, I did notice that once I got it back together, as near as I could figure, you know, going by my own marks that I put on this, that by turning this inner ring that is screwed on here, that I was able to reach in, turn that, and make my lines mark. Uh, my yeah, my distances line up with the line. So hopefully uh, I've got it right. And I guess now I've got to put it back together. Um, and see if it's workable. Okay, I've got the bulk of it reassembled here. As you can see, everything seems to work now. In manual focus, 
and I can focus it manually uh, in automatic it locks up the way it's supposed to uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and reassemble this <coughs> and I'll move right on to uh, testing it when I get it reassembled so here it is reassembled uh, I have already tried this out so I already know it works so I got the batteries in it turn it on seems to seems to function when I was playing with it earlier uh, I was focusing both automatically and manually and checking through the viewfinder and it appears to be uh, right on uh, I haven't developed the film I took out of it yet. Uh, of course, we'll get to that. Uh, the only thing I had to do that I really didn't want to do was I had to drill two holes in this inner ring where the lens is um, because it was stuck pretty good. It just didn't want to come out. So I drilled two holes to unscrew it. I don't think I'm going gonna, gonna to fill them up with something, silicone or some black something. Uh, this lens doesn't appear to be sealed so I'm going to assume that it's not going to make a heck of a lot of difference I didn't find any seals inside of it though the core lenses uh, may be sealed themselves the outer outer lens uh, there's no seal in here uh, there's no seal at the back it doesn't appear to be any seals anywhere um, so we'll see We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to send the film out uh, to develop it and get its color. And then we'll see what happens. So, until next time.